Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, just want to just we are uh, we, we're entering week three, and I think this is possibly we could be playing our best volleyball at this point, which is which is exciting. We uh, we took some injuries early uh, in our opening weekend, and this last weekend we were trying to figure out who we are when when we're in in a place where personnel wise we don't know who and should be doing what, and 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 that's kind of a challenge that this team is is kind of fighting through right now. Is is who who are we, uh, and and how do we best fill some roles that that might maybe are a little unexpectedly vacant right now, uh, and so. We're excited to go play because we, we got some players back that we think at, at, at their healthiest they've been since the Rutgers match, which is where we took two tough uh, injuries. But um, we get on the road uh, with, with starting off with Gonzaga, a, a really nice team that, that is playing some good volleyball right now, and then Oregon State, who's, who's probably the best team we've played so far this season, uh, or will, will be playing this season, uh, this preseason, I should say. Uh, and then Saturday morning, we, we, we face off against Seattle, who's a really nice veteran team that, with real good experience. So we're excited to get on the road and see where we're at now uh, with another week of development under our belts. So. Yeah, you know, it's, it's 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 week by week. You know, so far it's been day by day almost. It's kind of dependent on our personnel, and 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 this time of year is tough because I think early on you start to see some 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 injuries that that uh, that, that can change seasons, and and right now we're uh, I'll never make an excuse for our team, uh, but I'll tell you that, that that we've got some stuff that we're working through, and it's a real challenge for these guys. And and the the, the really nice part is. Uh, is we talk daily about this fact that it's not what happens, it's how we respond and how well do we reset and how well do we get back out on the court and get after what it is that we're trying to achieve. And we're trying to chase our best volleyball and we're deep in that process. And that's a really, that's a hard process for anybody. I mean, it's to, to be at your best all the time. But now, now not only do you have to be at your best, but you've got to be at your best when maybe the people around you are, are, are hurting a little bit. And this team is, uh, is, is kind of going through some growing pains with, with just injuries and also learning, hey, how do we go compete? In new roles, and, and that's a, and so I think we're in a good spot. Um, I, I'm, I'm optimistic that we get to go and, and face off against good teams. And I told my team that uh, after the New Mexico State uh, loss, that hey, we want to go be in these environments. We need to be in these environments because in two weeks, when Mountain West Conference starts, we want to be playing our best volleyball. Uh, and it's, to me, it wasn't about being our, at our very best in week two. It's, it, we're still learning and getting better. And we're going to do that this entire season. Uh, but we need to be go, we need to go get tested. We need to go learn where are we where are we missing and, and what do we need to do in practice this week. And so, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Now, you can see it uh, maybe in, in, in spurts, and that's where our consistency has got to get better. Uh, and so this week, you know, we, we identified three areas we had to get better. We got to get better uh, with, with, our, with our serving pressure. We need, we need to knock our opponents off the net so they can't do what they want to do offensively, and that's a big piece of, the, of a puzzle for us is can we, can we develop, uh, I guess, more intentionality behind the service line? Uh, the second thing we want to do is get our middle blockers involved. We've got two good middle blockers in Yasmin Tan and, and Rachel Murphy, and then we've got, we got a nice player in Abby Willison as a backup. And, uh, they, they, we just aren't setting them enough. And so part of that is, is, is our, our passing, our reception. We've got to get balls to the target. We've got to get balls to our setter uh, in order to set them. But the other part is we've got to, we've got to get them more involved in our offense. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, you guys please. had a great line over the weekend about no wheat cakes, just pancakes. Yeah, <laughs> where, yeah. Where did that come from? What's, what's yeah, so, uh, so a pancake is, a, is, a def is an emergency defensive move. Uh, where you, you're, you're rolling, you're moving forward, uh, diving forward, putting your hand flat on the ground, and we call that a pancake. And so it's just, I'm, if you've got this much room to get under the ball, we can pancake. And sometimes when we, when we go into it, we do some partner work. Uh, I may not toss it to you that you've got to go pancake the ball over there. I may, I may give you something right here. You know, and so I say, hey, there's no wheat cakes in here. You're going to force your partner to go make a pancake. Uh, and so that's kind of where that comes from. And it's, uh, it's, it's picked up with our team. They like it. So. Coach, what's yeah. the chance of being back in Johnson Gym? Is it going to be finished by the time you're in the back? Volleyball season, you can have that home court advantage. Yeah, I think you know we'll be back there. Uh, we'll be back there at the end of October, and so the, you, the renovation is still going to be ongoing uh, in in kind of the auxiliary gym area and in, in that south side of the building. Uh, that's still going to be under construction. I think the, the projected date is somewhere in the spring of 2020, uh, but we will be back in there in October, late October. There's just one line to sell. Women's volleyball, the excitement, the drama, the athleticism. How do you describe it? Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's. In my, in my opinion, it's one, it's one of the most fan-friendly sports you can, you can watch. It's, it's short spurts of 12 seconds of the most high-intensity athletic movements and, and, and kind of patterns you can watch. And then there's an eight-second pause, and then you get right back into another 12-second spurt of, of, I think, in my opinion, a really a, a adrenaline rush. Uh, and, and that's kind of my, my, the way I want to play this game is. Is I want our offense to be fast. And I want our defense to be even faster. 
Uh, so we're going to dig and we're going we're gonna, to we're play this game uh, defensively with some urgency and intensity and, and, and grit. And then offensively, we play this game really fast. And so to me, uh, it's, it's this really fan-friendly sport to watch. So uh, yeah, I just think there's an exciting level of play that we're trying to bring to, to the pit or to Johnson Center or to wherever we go and play. We're going to bring that level with us. Thanks, you guys.